Here now, former acting ICE director Tom Homan, also a Fox News contributor. Tom, great to see you in person. One thing our producer noticed when she was watching some of that video earlier, clean, brand spanking new sneakers on those Chinese immigrants. 920% increase in Chinese migrant apprehensions compared to full, uh, fiscal year 2020, uh, 2022. But where are they coming from? S but just, clean just, sneakers. Just the fact they're paying over 50,000 a head to be smuggled to the United States shows you that they're not, they're not, po they're not poverty stricken, right? They, I know that uh, DPS lieutenant said, you know, 35,000. No, it was 35,000 when I was an agent. That's a long time ago. They're paying at least 50,000 plus to be smuggled to the United States. What's more concerning to me, though, is the ones they don't catch, right? We're at 1.3 million gotaways. That's recorded gotaways. These, these are people who are caught on uh, video, uh, drone traffic, camera traffic, sensor traffic. That's what we know. 1.3 across the border weren't talked to, weren't apprehended. We don't know who they are, where they're at. And that doesn't even count the unknown gotaways, places in the border we don't have the technology to capture their image. So this is a scary situation. So, Tom, we know that so many illegals are coming into the country. They're being sent at taxpayer expense around the country. What will happen to these Chinese individuals when they come into the country? Will they also be given a free bus or plane ticket, or will they be immediately deported? They won't be immediately deported. They're going to they use the magic words asylum, which the cartels would teach them. And that's why they're, going, they're not going to stop coming. I mean, they know they're going to be... So we're going to release these people, these, these Chinese, into the country, and we may not know where they, where, where they are or where they go. They should detain them until they find out who they are and vet them, perfect, first of all, right? But that's why they're not going to stop. The flow is going to continue because you can cross the border illegally, you're going to be released, flow into the city of your choice at taxpayer expense, and 90% of them will lose your case based on immigration court data in the last decade. Nine out of 10 will lose your case for asylum, and they'll get order removed. What happens to them, if you look at the DHS Blystock report, about 6% actually leave. And the Secretary of Homeland Security has said this, being in the country illegally, on its own, isn't enough for ICE to find you and arrest you. So why would they not come? Hmm. What stops him? How many, how many people need to die from fentanyl poisonings? For them you got 106,000 overdose deaths. You got 1,700 migrant deaths. You got a record number of women and children sex trafficking in the United States. Cartels are making billions. You got 164 known and suspected terrorists caught at the border trying to sneak in since Joe Biden's been president. How many of 1.3 million? came from a country sponsoring terrorism that are in this country right now planning their next attack. I don't know how many terrorists have crossed that border and didn't get caught, but some, I keep saying this, someday we're going to find out and it's going to be a bad day for America. And Americans will die because of it. Yes, sir. Tom Holman, thank you for joining us. And always bringing such light to this issue and such intelligence. Thank you.